Remember yesterday I was showing those lizards? Look at these fucking things, they're huge. Oh my god. Hi mom. Quiet, quiet. Oh. Baby's sleeping. Aww. Don't wake him up. I won't. Makes sense, right? Start the vlog off with some lizards and a baby. Anyway, this is another day on vacation. As you could probably tell from yesterday's vlog, it is getting kind of difficult for me to keep the momentum going, for me to stay excited about vlogging while I'm on vacation. I'm in a very different mental space right now in the sense that I'm just chilling, relaxing, not really hanging out with a lot of people besides my family. So it is a little different trying to keep the vlogs going out here, but I am very happy that I have kept consistent. Even though I have put out like two five minute vlogs over the course of the past week, those are kind of lackluster, but you know, daily is more important than being inspired daily. You know, a lot of times, like for a writer, the advice that they always give you is like, it doesn't really matter if you write something good every day, what matters is that you write, you sit down and you work. I would give the same advice to like musicians and stuff. It doesn't really matter if you make a hit, if you make your dopest new song every day. Only thing that matters is that you get in the studio and you try. That's the only thing you can control is trying. Anyway, I'm about to go uh, hit the beach again with the children. Henry's over by the beach. He's very, very scared of the beach. He's very into the pool now, but he's scared of the beach. So I'm gonna go see uh, how it's, how it's going for him. I woke up to a poll on the uh, MTV2 Twitter. And I'm not sure if this is like an important poll that they actually use for anything or if they're just doing a random poll, but it was like, what's the best podcast or whatever of the year? And it was like the top four. I obviously voted for tax, but then so many people commented saying like, oh, no jumper, that they, and a bunch of other podcasts as well, that they added in two other additional polls. And from the looks of it, we're winning. So I'm already dreading the, uh, nightmare of PR that will go down if a uh, little white boy wins podcast of the year but shout out to the road gang thanks for voting for me I appreciate it I don't think you guys have seen it yet but this is where I'll be smoking at but you can't see it because normally when I vlog back here it's dark out um so basically I'm already kind of feeling myself just slightly because I it seems like I'm gonna win this MTV poll about a uh, podcast of the year which is pretty crazy because like pretty much everybody else on it are like heroes of mine there's a couple people I don't really know but pretty much and actually it's kind of crazy too because all the guys that I look up to on the list are pretty much people I've met within like the last year or so the fact that I seem like I'm about to win that is kind of crazy and I was thinking about it and I'm like well it's not official because it's not like the MTV staff chose it and then I was like I would probably rather win something that was voted on by the people than the staff since the staff well, it's not like I know specifically who works there really, but you know, the staff are kind of industry people, I'm assuming. Anyway, uh, that's pretty cool. But then the other crazy thing that just happened to me is I got an email from a laser treatment place in LA. They were basically like, hey, we're a fan of your content. We noticed that you do good with social media, blah, blah, blah. We were wondering if we could interest you in some free laser hair treatment. So if you know me, you know that I shave various parts of my butt, not with any kind of real consistency or anything, but you know, I'll shave my legs or my arms like every couple months just because I tend to grow like really fucking long hair. I was thinking about it, and also you guys saw Lena shaving my back that one time, or uh, that's actually happened a couple times, but I was thinking about it, I responded to them, I said, well, to be honest, I've always kind of wanted to get my uh, grundle ball sack butthole area lasered. As I was writing the email, I almost called it the decrepit unnamed stretch of land between my ball sack and my butthole, but instead I decided to just kind of describe it more accurately. I didn't want them to think they were getting into anything too disgusting, but they responded and they were like, let's do it. So I was like, I have to make a vlog of it. And they were like, yeah, perfect. So when I get back, I guess you guys are going to get to see a vlog of me getting my, getting, I don't know, how do they do it? It's laser. So I can't wait to have someone do that to my ball sack. It's probably gonna feel so good. I am an idiot, and I realized that my flight actually was supposed to leave Friday, so I wouldn't be able to go to that young Simi Little Pump Wi Fi's funeral ski mask show. So I pushed it back. Actually, leaving Sunday. So that's good because then I can go to the Xavier Wolf show on Saturday, too. Get to kick it with him, you know, do my little Tundra Boy thing. So I'm very, very uh, enthused about this. And it was a pretty easy decision to make because any time that I spend in New Hampshire is time that I'm spending basically in the house freezing to death so 
more time here, even if I'm like not really doing a whole lot and just kind of hanging out by the beach and stuff, is definitely a good time. So I spent $185 to push my flight back and I'm gonna have to buy two more nights in the hotel. But fortunately, thanks to you guys, money is no object. Thank you, thank you for showering me with gifts by watching ads. You ready, mom? Mom, mom, why are you dressed like a crip? You're dressed like friggin' Snoop Dogg in the 90s. What are you doing? My family and I were all just discussing my theory that genetically my family has giant heads. I truly believe that my head is massive, way bigger than the average human head. And the reason why I think this is because when I was in high school, I was dating this girl in an art class one time. We started having the same conversation. And so I said, hey, let's measure our heads. We took string wrapped around our heads and then we, uh, you know, measured it. I don't remember exactly what the measurement was, but I do remember that my head was twice as big as her head and she had hair and I didn't. So we decided that we were gonna use my iPhone cable to measure my head. This is my head. My laptop is 15 inches. I'm going with 25 inches. I believe that my head is 25 inches around. So I would like to issue a challenge to everybody who's watching this, please, Measure your head and let my family, like, cannot believe that this is actually what I do is I just talking to my phone. But everybody measure your head, leave it in the comments, let us know how big your head is. You might want to, you know, make some accommodations for like, if you have a long head of hair, maybe that could influence it a little bit. Obviously, my... Oh yeah, you have to measure with the cord and then the laptop so it'll be the authentic no jumper rope gang head measurement technique. Uh, otherwise... If, if you don't have a, if you actually have access to a ruler or something, that would actually be pretty good too. So um, yeah, everybody get out there and measure your own head. Obviously mine is ideal since I have no hair on my dome. Booger head. Coming in for a landing. <laughs> nope. It's like he doesn't even know why it's there. <laughs> you need more of us. Oh, there you go. The average human head. 22 and a half inches around. The average human Latino head, 21.5 inches around. I would like to know if African Americans on average have bigger heads than white people because I feel like they maybe are a little taller on average, a little bit more muscular, maybe bigger head, I don't know. My sister, 25 inches, we're both, 20, we're both two and a half inches bigger than the average person. Big head gang for life. Henry? One yeah. of these days, you're gonna have a big old head. Look at this guy. That's it. You He's look gonna... nice. We had half of it. <laughs> uh -huh, <it's> <laughs> <great. Yeah. laughs> I don't know why, but I just really enjoyed filming my dad in a towel. Henry, I'm gonna eat your elephant. Don't do it. I'm now going to something called the Christmas lights with my parents. What is it? It's just like some area with a bunch of lights. Yeah, a park. That has a a park with a bunch of lights. Yeah. These are the weird kinds of things that old people do, but. I'm a member of this family and I'm along for the ride. The little kids like looking at lights. The old folks get sentimental looking at lights, I'm guessing, so I'm along for the ride. Aquarium assisted. Oh, here we are. It's going down. Oh, I'm wow. so excited. For the record, this is what the insane people of Florida do since they don't have any snow, is that they arrange uh, lights, Christmas lights, into like palm trees and doves. Is. And then they drive around and pretend that this is in some way related to winter. It's not. It's like 90 degrees outside right now. Look at this, you guys. This this might be one of the bangers. This is a walrus. Yeah. No, walrus. Yeah, walrus. Wow. So oh, cool. This is awesome. This is so cool. I'm so glad the kids are in the other car so that we can just be total assholes about this. Look at this. Wow. Oh, what's that lighthouse? Yeah, what's this Holiday say? fantasy of lights. Wow. That's his fantasy? The third wall has been broken. There's a cop over there. Was it the fourth wall? Like I forget. Static. Look, penguins. Oh, nature. This is just like going to a zoo. God, this is what I call culture. Hey, Hi. Uh, 15 for the car. 15 for the car. What should we do if we see a bear or like a, a tiger or oh, anything? Drive you. away. Really? <laughs> okay, we, thank you. What if we see like a, a fugitive or like an escaped convict? Drive away. <laughs> Okay. Keep driving. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye. I guess we just we might see a man with a horse yeah, in here, apparently. Yeah. My sister just stopped to take a picture of this cool skier. Action sports. We are entering North Pole Station. Wow. Very nice. Jesus. This is probably going to be one of the highlights of this whole trip. Oh, Henry would love this. Ride. What's it say? Rock butt? 
rock bottom. Oh, that's funny. That's a colloquial phrase. Look at the baby carriage. Oh, wow. A dinosaur pushing a baby carriage? What will they think of next? <laughs> and look, at, look at that one. Licking the ground. T-Rex. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. T-Rex. It's 75. Look at the T-Rex. Look at my dad taking a photo of this big bear. Oh, it's oh. at the flat. <laughs> I hope I got the moon in the background. <laughs> oh, candy canes. I know you guys got a candy sweet canes. tooth. Candy canes. <laughs> Adam's not going to find a girl that fell. It, oh, what's this? You want to bet? Uh, it's what's this just like? been decided. Polo tropical. What is that? Adam? Polo. Poyo, mom. You're, you're going to work on your Spanish. My mom thinks I'm looking for girls out here, apparently. I know, but I just feel bad that, you know, you're looking for love in all the wrong places. And what is that supposed to mean? If you look at the love, and I don't think this is the place you're gonna find it, Adam. It's Who nasty. says I'm looking for love? You got me all messed up, Mom. You gotta find. You, you gotta go looking for it in Laconia. <laughs> Laconia, New Hampshire, where my girls mom's are from. Beautiful. She's always trying to convince me I should move back to Laconia. If anybody out there is familiar with Laconia at all, you can tell me about what you think of this assertion, because uh, anybody who's been to Laconia can tell you that it's basically filled with friggin' meth heads who own Harley. No, who probably steal Harleys. And I think about Laconia, that's what I think about. People trading in scrap metal. We out here eating. I got the salmon. My old man and my mom both have the uh, fish tacos. And Uncle Joe goes with the, the Philly cheesesteak. Very nice. I had two Jamesons. Translation, I'm shit-faced. My parents are gonna have to drive me home. I'm gonna have to tuck myself into bed early. Just kidding. They all think I'm drunk. But I'm not. I just had two drinks. Call the cops. <coughs> Calling the cops on you, sonny boy. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is a real goofball. We were talking about that earlier. That uh, we think that we both have like the silly gene. Yes. She, she's a silly person. I'm a silly person. But not not always publicly, but privately. I'm prone to act silly. Where's your father? Where always hold hands with your mom. You're never too cool to hold hands with your mom. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Sandy boy. <laughs>